Hey there guys, all things Apple Plus here. Wanted to give you guys just another video on the GBA for iOS emulator. It is out and it is available right now through iEnchantify. And I can confirm that it is working on iOS 10. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go ahead and get it. Look, as you can see here, I'm on iOS 10 right now. I'm actually on their latest beta, beta seven right now. And I can confirm that this is working on uh, through iEnchantify. So if you get a second, if you want to download that GBA for iOS emulator, go ahead and check out the rest of this video. So pretty much what this is, is if you're not jailbroken, for those who are new, this is a way that you can get the Game Boy Advance emulator onto your iDevice for free. And I will actually show you guys how to get games and or ROMs later on as well too. But this is a enterprise app that you end up verifying and trusting later on. Now, uh, I can't stress this enough, but when you download this application, one, one, one minute it will be working and the next minute it won't. Now, that is due to because Apple's, um, it basically Apple revokes the application from working, from, uh, from ever working on your device. So what happens is people like iEnchantify or iOSEM.us, uh, these websites and these places that you can go to, really reliable places that you can go to to download these emulators, unfortunately they will you know, have their apps revoked and then it takes them just a little bit of time to renew their certificate and be able to um, allow us to download these apps again. That way you guys can play them and then Apple finds out that we have them and then they revoke them and then it's this whole process going over and over and over and over again. So what I, I can't stress that, stress this enough, but even though this application may work today and me showing you this today, um, it may not work tomorrow or within you know the next couple of days. There is a possibility that Apple can revoke it. So just st you know stay tuned. Uh, you're more than welcome to follow me uh, via Twitter at all things Apple Plus. Let's go and get into the tutorial. Uh, basically, what I did I, in Getting to iOS 10 first and foremost, if you want to go to iOS 10 and if you want to be in the betas, I went under the packages section here and you can actually download the iOS 10 beta 2 um, profile. And as you install that profile, it will update you automatically to the developer beta. So right now I'm at developer beta 7. And um, yeah, uh, after that, you can go ahead and download a GBA for iOS 2.1. And it's very simple. All you have to do is click the install button here. It'll ask you to install from right here. We'll click on that and an ad should pop up. We're gonna go ahead and you know wait the five seconds and then we'll skip it in just a second. And then you should get a prompt to install. We'll go ahead and install and we'll back out. You don't need to do anything with time. Uh, if you are new to the game, uh, basically there are some sites that have you adjust your date and your settings uh, to allow the application to completely load. Great thing about this site is that they don't, you know, actually don't even need to uh, adjust your date and time. It downloads directly to your uh, to your iDevice. So, what we do need to do is we need to trust this application. Whenever you try to launch it, you will get this. Um, it's an untrusted enterprise developer application. So we need to trust that app. So we'll go into settings. Excuse me. In general, from right here, we'll scroll all the way down to we see profiles right here and you should see a enterprise app by West Tele Farms. We're going to go ahead and click on that and we're going to click trust, trust one more time and we'll back out and then we can go ahead and launch the application from right here. So it will ask you to, you know, uh, send you notifications. You can go ahead and hit allow, go ahead and hit the okay button. And here you are at the main menu. Now you need to go ahead and find GBA ROMs. Let's go ahead and search for them. Under Google here, we can just go ahead and type in GBA ROMs. We'll scroll down to free ROMs. Choose the ROM that you want by title. We can go ahead and scroll down to, let's see here. We'll go ahead and pick up the Emerald version. Then you will have another 10 seconds uh, before the direct download will appear. We'll go ahead and wait for that. We'll go ahead and hit direct download. Download one more time. It'll ask you to save the name. 
and then it should save there we go and we're going to go ahead and launch the application or the, the ROM let me actually turn up this out a little bit so from here pretty much you have the game all set and ready to go you can even go fast forward if you wanted to And the game, as you can see, works perfectly. Even in a fast forward mode, you can just, you can burst through this entire game too. And then best thing to do with this application is because of, this, of the amount of times Apple revokes this application is you're gonna wanna download an application called Dropbox. Now, if you've never heard of Dropbox, I'll just go ahead and show you a little tutorial on that right now. Let's go into, actually, let me refocus real quick. We're gonna go into the App Store. And then from the App Store, we're gonna go ahead and hit the search bar. We're gonna type in Dropbox. You should see it right there. And it's this first one right here. We're gonna go ahead and click on that. And basically what this does is this allows you to keep all your save data, all your ROMs, everything that you've done, and it stores them in this storage uh, device. If you've never used Dropbox before, it's pretty much a, uh, it's pretty much iCloud, but more accessible. And I think it's a lot more easier to use than iCloud is sometimes. Uh, you can actually link it up to your computer and you can um, easily you know, store files from your computer and to your device. Um, and it just saves everything right into the cloud. So from here, once you, let me actually go ahead and sign in real quick. Cool deal. So what it does is it saves all your photos on one on you know, you know all your photos, files, anything that you have. It pretty much categorizes them and it allows you to save and upload documents and, and photos and applications and ROMs and save data all into this app, in, into this app, and you get five uh, gigabytes for free. So when you have this emulator and it's able to run, the best thing to do is. Uh, let me actually go back to see, show game list. We're gonna go to the little, oops, let me actually focus one more time. We'll go to the little dial right here. And then if you scroll all the way down to you see Dropbox Sync, you can click on that, click Dropbox Sync. It'll ask to open in Dropbox, we'll click open. We'll, ask, we'll uh, click allow, we'll click allow one more time. And it says Dropbox wants to open in GB for iOS. We'll go ahead and open again. And then we're synced completely. So now any sort of game that you get, any uh, save any save that you have, any you know um, save state that you may have, Dropbox is automatically gonna recognize it and it's gonna sync automatically from the time that you do any sort of sync in uh, the, or any type of save in the GB for iOS app, it's gonna sync it right over to the Dropbox app and then you're completely fine. So, so go ahead and check that out. If you guys did like this tutorial, go ahead and like this video up, share it around. I hope you guys did enjoy it and if, for all things Apple Plus, I hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' night. Peace.